Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on the Friday. Dun dun dun. Friday the thirteenth. If you're superstitious, go back to bed. Um, if you're not, here's the dollar yen chart printed down this uh, ninety. What is that? Uh, eighty-five low. Third time now. So we have 81 here, 85, 85. Uh, is this going to dip down lower? I'm not sure. It really depends on the bond market. Bonds are um, a little bit higher today. But if they turn, this will pop back higher. If they don't turn, this has probably got further downside to go. Bonds are driving the bus. I'll tell you what, Dollar Swiss is not uh, doing the same thing as Dollar Yen. Dollar Swiss is sort of robustly holding, but you can see it's the same exact pattern. This pattern here in Dollar Swiss, this pattern here in Dollar Yen, you sort of made your highs there Wednesday. Uh, and we've come back down, we're doing a bit of sideways. Not quite near the lows in Dollar Swiss though, but same type of, same type of pattern. Euro, not doing a whole heck of a lot. Um, you know, Lower high yesterday, but an inside day. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this. I have a feeling we're going to zip up to 40 uh, and then back down to the figure and just do a little bullshitty type day. Um, that's Euro. Dollars are another doji yesterday. Bang, bang. Up through 72, is it? Is important now. So what are these highs exactly? 73.31, 72.53. Tricky day yesterday in Zar. These bars here are tricky. Zzz, down to 53. Zzz, down to 52. Zzz, down to 57. But then zip back up. <laughs> looks like looks like north. Journey north is the path of least resistance in uh, in dollars are. Aussie, been trying to get short all week. Sold this line yesterday twice. First time didn't work. Second time worked. Down through 48. A lot of guys will have sold this. Could do a little bit of consolidation. 41 the high overnight. Um stop where I guess it's supposed to stop at 20 um, can you sell this back about 50 yeah I think you can um, so check that out perhaps selling Aussie back up at 50 Aussie Yen is taking a beating we remember Aussie Yen on Monday we were short here 75.50 looking to add down through 74.90 7550 will be support. This is the beginning of the Pfizer uh, vaccine trade. I guess 7560 will be support. Um, so keep that in mind. If we do get down there, uh, first time will be support. Dollar CAD. I guess crude got crushed, so Dollar CAD higher, but a little bit surprising. Uh, 13160. Not super sure what to do with that. Gold, sideways, sideways. Waiting for resolution here in gold. Pretty sure resolution's gonna be lower, but check the bond market. The bond market will tell you. I bet today you can sell through 71 uh, and start building shorts uh, for what I would think is the eventual smash through 48. But right now we're square in gold. We'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, but downside looks interesting. Spoos. This was an interesting line yesterday. 47 was the break. Uh, we printed 47. Oh, we printed 49. That was an interesting close yesterday, huh? Wow. Whew. Printed 48. So we went down to 13. Bang. 48 on the close. Um, that caught a lot of people. Uh, we did fade into that close 
and we've been trading it a little bit. We're still short. Um, I'm going to use this line as kind of our bull bear today. Finally, ZB. Should be resistance somewhere between this 27 and this, which was the beginning of the um, the Pfizer trade. Excuse me, 73.30. So we suggest you sell this shit up here. Um, we just sold uh, some 22s. We're going to be sort of 22, 27. Uh, and then probably 05. Do a little feather fade in the ZBs. See what happens. Um, see if this thing turns. If this turns, then we go back to buying dollars. We go back to selling gold. If it doesn't turn, um, dollar yen downside may come into play. Uh, so, but that's not my preferred side. Crude, somebody smack the pony. Look at that. 42 to 40. Quick 5%. Down 1.6% uh, today. I don't know what's going on with crude. I guess there's some uh, news out of the Middle East about s supply and yada yada. I don't know. Crude's back in the range, uh, but this is pushing dollar cat higher. Let's look at this chart. This one's obscene. Look at this. BTP is right back up. Are we ever going to get above 151.30, which is the Pfizer day? I don't think so. Look at that big bearish engulfing from the all-time highs. Uh, but we're not playing in BTPs. We singed our eyebrows off um, and we lost a testicle shorting these earlier um, earlier this year. So I'm just going to leave these alone for now. Um, Interesting. Probably a short at the two thirds retracement, which is probably right around here. 150, 60. Anyway, uh, BTPs makes no sense. Finally, Bitcoin. Hello. Up 60% uh, last couple of months. It's just a tech stock. The world is slowly coming to grips with the fact that distributed ledger technology and blockchain technology is going to take over the world. Uh, it's going to put a lot of people in finance out of business, a lot of operational people out of business, a lot of uh, payment people out of business. Eventually, it might take five, ten years, but it also might take two years. I don't know. This... Um, this does not surprise me. Here we are, 16,000. Think back to this move here. When we sunk down to 4,000 this year. It's a bit of a heartbreaker there. We had some institutional positions on at that point. That got clunked. C'est la vie. Anyway, personally, we own we own it. We add to it every Monday. There's plenty of ways you can add to this. You can add through Revolut. You can add through your broker. You can add through your wallet. Um, but we suggest you just continue adding to this. Once we touch 19,000, there should be some sort of pullback. Um, depending on what your position size is, you can start to trade this up, up at around 20 Gs. So... Keep an eye on the old Bitcoin. She looks very, very robust. As far as the calendar goes today, um, not too much. We got Euro, Flash GDP, PPI. No, 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 no. PPI in America. Then we got a bunch of BOE, Bank of England. Not BOC, Blue Oyster Cult. BOE, Bank of England. Um, 
Not much on the calendar, got to say. How boring were those Fed people and were the central bankers last night? God. There used to be a time in the world where that shit used to move stuff. Anyway, uh, Friday the 13th. Let's see how she goes today. Short Aussie uh, looks to be the way. We're going to feather into some short bonds. Uh, and depending on where bonds go, uh, dollar yen is at a very interesting point. She's either going to spill left, break some hearts, or she might hold here. And this all depends on yield and rates. You can see up here, 10 years are all the way down to 87 basis points. It lost 12 basis points the last two days. My lord. What a cock jocker. And uh, TYX, which is the long bond yield, is down uh, 11 basis points. Good luck out there, people. Have a good weekend. I will uh, see you on Monday.